a leader and all of your future leaders you must not accept this you must not take the trodden path you have to to become a leader you have to face resistance no one has ever ever achieved anything if they haven't faced failures if they haven't had disappointments if they haven't had days when they don't want to wake up get out of bed no no one has ever achieved anything to achieve anything in life you have to be prepared to take on the odds face disappointment but all of you do not realize that all of us have, the almighty has given tremendous strength which lies within us you only discover that strength when you put yourself up against resistance if you don't face resistance that strength lies dormant within you the moment you take on challenges you will then start discovering this the enormous strength you have in you so when you go on the trodden path you will never uh, discover I used to stay up all night thinking god what if i fail uh what are my first matches which i played in front of my home crowd in lahore i went into bat the whole crowd on the right side of the pavilion is calling me the lion of lahore all the way cheering me all the way to the wicket the problem in, in cricket is that uh, in batting is that you only have one life So you can go all the way to the wicket which is almost 70 80 yards away you can and then be out first ball and walk all the way back those 70 80 yards which is exactly what happened to me Resistance setbacks failures are a way of looking into yourself soul searching and university education should enable you to analyze your mistakes better than others You should be able to go to the core of what's going wrong make amends and then you always get back much stronger it's uh you know in uh, in anything you do um, in, in life you have to believe that you're going to win you can't think what if i don't win and my mind doesn't work that way I believe I'm going to win and it's a matter of time. And you know one of my colleagues was reminding me he said uh 6 years down the line we are one seat in parliament and he's driving me and you know he's just driving me around and saying look look at this you know look at the neglect of that village they have no drinking water look at the state of the road and I said don't worry when we come to power we'll fix that and he now he tells me he said I feel is he got mad <laughs> and he got one seat in parliament but then you have to believe that you've got to believe that you're going to win and i have never not believed i'm one day i'm going to win